We have breaking news right now at 5 a.m. An explosive wildfire in Ventura County. It has destroyed thousands of acres, dozens of homes, and led to mandatory evacuations. You can see these flare-ups, these homes burning to the ground. The mountain fire is now being fueled by powerful Santa Ana winds for the second day. It has already jumped the 118 freeway and is rapidly spreading into neighborhoods. You could just see the embers are just huge. I mean, just so many embers come flying through, and it's really just scary. Those embers are a critical concern for firefighters working to get this fire under control, but right now, it is 0% contained. This is Today in LA at 5 with breaking news. So here's what we know about the fire right now. It started yesterday morning in Moore Park. Flames fueled by strong winds spread into Camarillo and Santa Paula. The fire has grown to more than 14,000 acres. Several homes have been destroyed. We don't have an official number yet, but our crews counted at least two dozen burned homes just in Camarillo. Two people have been hospitalized with smoke inhalation. We have live team coverage from the front lines. Our reporters are stationed all across Ventura County, tracking the flames, the destruction, and the evacuations in real time. Thanks for joining us. I'm Adrian Rampilo. I'm Lynette Romero. We're going to get right to meteorologist Belinda Leone. You've been warning us about these winds. We knew they were coming. How much longer do we have to endure it? We have one more day. We have red flag warnings, high wind warnings in effect until 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock this afternoon. And even though the winds out there in that area are calmer compared to what we had yesterday, I'm looking at those wind speeds pick back up again around sunrise. So let me take you to our observation stations out to where the fire is currently burning. And you'll notice the winds are calm. They're coming out mostly out of the east. Breaking right now at 5.30, the fast-moving mountain fire, dozens of homes destroyed in Ventura County, and there are mandatory evacuations in place right now. So the powerful Santa Ana winds are fanning, fueling these flames here, making this firefight extremely challenging. This other house burned down within 15 minutes. It just started smoke smoldering and then just burst in flames. Neighbors forced to pack up and leave numerous roads and schools closed. Our live team coverage continues right now. This is Today in LA at 5 with breaking news. Okay, so this is a live look right now at the mountain fire. You can see all of this smoke just blowing all the wind. The firefighters are doing their best, doing whatever they can to try to get this under control and stop it from spreading to other nearby structures. Good morning to you. It is Thursday morning. I'm Lynette Romero. And I'm Adrian Arambula. We're going to get right to meteorologist Belen de Leon. Belen, we're expecting another rough day out there when it comes to the winds and fire conditions. That's right. Red flag warnings are in effect until this afternoon, so critical fire conditions continue. I want to show you what the winds are doing right now. Yesterday around this time, the winds were ramping up, but around 9 a.m., we already had reports of wind gusts up to 70 and 80 miles per hour. That was about the time that the fires started uh, to erupt. Right now, we do have some gusts over in the Inland Empire up to